All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world. And we have another uh, Katsu uh, session uh, with our two famous leaders. John, take it away. Famous, awesome, all right. Hey, uh, everybody, uh, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, go out ahead, uh, pull out your cycle 2.0, and let's push and hold the power button on the front. And we should see Katsu and then the word cycle. Then go ahead and hook your armbands up. Go ahead and kind of kind of pre-stage them so you don't have to deal with all this once they're on. And slide the armbands all the way up to your armpit. And go ahead and get it nice and snug. And when I say nice and snug, it's difficult to get a finger under the band but I can. And then once you have both armbands on, just go ahead and take the male ends of the connectors there and plug them into your machine. And uh, Chris and I were talking about this a little bit at the, uh, at the beginning. If you uh, do not have a cycle with you and you're using uh, aqua bands without the pneumatic bladder, periodically go ahead and back those bands off. This workout, Laurel's workouts, you know, the better part of an hour. So we absolutely don't want you guys at pressure that whole time. So after every major set of exercises, uh, go ahead and back them off. And the other uh, kind of point for today is uh, in between workout, in between exercises, Always be checking your own capillary refill and making sure that it's filling up uh, faster than three seconds. Um, and lastly, uh, go ahead and experiment a little bit today with when we're towards the end of the arm session. Uh, if you wanna go ahead and untether, uh, go ahead and experiment with that a little bit. Same on the legs. When we're towards the end of the workout, go ahead and try doing the finisher uh, untethered. And, uh, you know, when you do that, it'll be, it'll be tough and you might not be able to finish, but just try to get a feel for where you are with different pressures, what works and what doesn't. So go ahead and start your cycle. If you have aqua bands, go ahead and tighten them up. And what's the first thing we do once we're at pressure? I just got the pressure. I'm looking at my cap refill and it is filling up quicker than three. So we are good to go. Laurel, over to you. Awesome. All right. We've got Instagram all fired up. Zoom is ready to go. If you do not already have a glass or bottle of water handy, please grab that now. Now, everyone, once you have your water, let's grab it. Big sip together. Cheers to get our workout going. All right, now we're ready to begin. So with the bands, we start arms and legs, smaller muscles to bigger muscles. But before we do any of that, let's get a stretch going. Go ahead and clasp your hands. Press the base of your palms forward like you're pushing your arms away from you. And you can probably already feel the bands starting to work, a little restriction. Muscles are firing. And then go ahead and reach the base of your palms up towards the ceiling of the sky. Big old stretch. Take it over to the right, letting your ear fall down towards your shoulder. And come back to center over to the left. And then make your way back to center and just start to draw some circles with the arms, moving the body around, getting into the spine. You can call it the spinal hula. Keep those arms really active in a lengthened state. And then let's move around the other way. All right. And start to come back to center. Release the arms. Take them out by your sides. Heel toe the feet to be underneath your hips. And just start to draw some circles with your arms. You're starting to activate those muscles, waking everything up, helping with shoulder mobility. If you want to play with balance here, you can pick your right foot off the floor, but really focusing on the shoulders. 
All right, lengthening through the fingertips. You should feel those muscles already starting to work. And then let's go ahead and circle their arms the other direction. If you want to play with balance here, you can pick up the left leg. Good, and see if you can make those circles even smaller. In 10 more seconds. I already feel my arms working. Good, and then go ahead and release the shoulders. Give them a big roll, waking everything up. And let's jump into our forearm strength today. So it's upward wrist curls. I glue my elbows into the midline of the body. I make fists. Now, uh, John and Steve have talked about this before. The more resistance we provide, the more muscle we can build. So you get to pick how strong that grip is. All right, we're going to do two 30-second sets. The first set, we're going to go slow. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Two. So I'm going to start my timer. We're going really slow. I can feel and see the veins in my arms already. Up, two, down, two. And we want to be isolating the wrist. So making sure that no other part of the forearms or the body moves, feeling the tops of the muscles activate. And we've got 10 more seconds. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Last five four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Cool. And I mentioned Instagram. Uh, John, I'm not sure if you mentioned it, but I'll mention it to Zoom as well. If at any point you get numbness, your bands are on a little bit too tight. Give those guys a loosen. So second set, pulling the elbows in again, make fists. This time we're going to go fast. So we go up, down, up, down. So go for speed this time. Still getting as much range as we can, squeezing those fists up and down, up and down, up and down. All right. Half done. Lift, lift, lift. Yes. Making sure that we're not rounding on our shoulders here. Last 10 seconds. Pull the elbows in towards the midline of the body. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. Release the fingers. Just as a reminder, check your cap refill. Give your hand a press. See where we're at after our first exercise. Within three seconds, we're back to normal. Awesome. Okay, so we've done forearms. We're moving into another set of small muscles, back of the arms, very important. We're doing tricep push-ups. So, different than normal push-ups. In normal push-up, our elbows slightly go out to the side. This time, just like with our forearm curls, we glued our elbows in towards the midline of the body. And that's exactly what I want you to do, is we're gonna come into a plank position. My elbows shoot straight back behind me, and I push back up, so no splaying out to the sides. Your biceps should be touching your body as you come down and press up. Now, if you can't do this without letting your hips sag, I want you to drop your knees. Same thing, we lower down, press back up. The range of motion doesn't matter here, as long as those arms are tucked the whole time. So first 30 seconds, moderate pace. Second 30, we're gonna go fast. Go ahead and set yourself up either into your full plank or your half plank position. We go down and back up. And I want you to imagine that your elbows are like two arrows and they're sticking straight out behind you as you press into it. The core is engaged doing the work as well. 10 more seconds. Awesome. Good. See if you can do one more. Good, Bonnie. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Come up, tricep stretch. Pull the right arm across the body. And release. Pull the left arm across the body. So these should ideally be a little bit harder, if not a lot harder than normal push-ups, because we're doing that same up and down movement, but we're using a smaller muscle to help get us there. So if you're feeling a little bit more tired than you normally would in a push-up, that's to be expected. Let's do our second set. These ones, we're going fast. Down, up, down, up. Same good form, added speed. Come into your plank, your half plank position. We're going down, up, down, up. And I'm going to check our form. Instagram, keep doing what you're doing. Zoom, I like it. I see John. Making sure you're on your knees if you need to be on your knees. That is a perfect place to be. Nice, Justin. Keep those elbows in. Go, Kyle. 
I like it. Keep going. Last 10 seconds. See how many you can do. Keep that core super engaged. We have five, four, three, two, rest. Everyone come on up. Hop up to stand. So that was for speed. Now we're going into a more targeted exercise, bicep curl. So pulling the elbows in towards the body, making fist. We're going to go up two, down two. Now check your cycle. Make sure we're using our bands to help us before we get going. So cycle's pumping, elbows in. That seems to be the theme for our upper body. Make fist. First 30 seconds, go. We go up two down two up two down two your biceps should feel like they're gonna burst through those bands they are so contracted two up two down two last 10 seconds that is not rest up two down two we're gonna pulse at the top in five four three two pull your fist in little pulse in 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 pulling your fingers towards your shoulders squeezing those muscles like heck imagine you're breaking the bands for five four three two and rest good job shake it out clasp your hands bicep stretch lengthen them out all right second set we're going to jump right into it we're going fast in out in out time is going here we go lift lift imagine you're holding weights if you have a small set of weights at home and you feel the need to grab them don't let me stop you in in keep those elbows tucked name of the game for the upper body today keep going half done lift lift yes see if you can do three more we have five four three two and rest shake it out Ooh, i feel it i feel a lot move okay last thing for the upper body we are in a, sorry, we have two things. We're doing a fair amount of upper body today. I got excited ahead of myself. Uh, we're doing a high plank spine twist. I come into my high plank. I reach up. I come down. I reach up. I come down. Side to side. Okay? So as you do this, if you need to, you can always take it on the knees, reach. I work towards stacking my shoulders and come down. Otherwise, reach and come down first 30 seconds let's go cool that bottom arm is really working pushing the floor away from you as you reach up and as you do this you can start to look up over that top hand to play with additional balance cool great job instagram nice jeff great Speed does not matter here. Just keep moving. Good, Kaori. Good, Devin. Awesome. Good, Quentin. Last five. Four, three, two. Rest. Good. We're going to jump right into our second set. Again, because we're going for a spinal twist, instead of thinking about speed, think how high up can you twist, getting those shoulders all the way up, and then coming back down. So it's not just a lift, it's a full rotation and back down. Second set, go. Awesome, Bonnie. Yeah. I see Steve's arms flying. Go, John. Nice, guys. Half done. Making sure that our hips stay in line with our shoulders the whole time. So we don't want to be piking up. We got to keep them dropped. Keep the move concise. Open and close. Last 10. We're going to meet in plank and hold in five, four, three, two. 10 second plank. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Drop your knees, shake it out. We're coming up for our heart rate boost. Then we have our final upper body exercise and we'll switch to our legs. So, our heart rate boost today, we're throwing it back to elementary school. The first thing you're going to do is called hopscotch. So if you have a mat, you're going to use your mat. If you don't have a mat, imagine you do. We hop in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Switch. 30 seconds. The next thing we have is jump rope. Light on the toes, moving the arms and the legs. And the last 30 seconds is lateral high knees, moving side to side. All the way one direction. 
all the way to the other. And you can slap your thighs or not, but think about getting your knees up towards your hands. So first 30 seconds, hopscotch, channel your inner fifth grade or whatever grade you're in when you did that. We are going. Go in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, and we switch. <laughs> I love it. Everyone's bouncing around their houses. We're doing what we can at home. And today we're hopscotching. Last 10 seconds, forwards and backwards. See if you can make it even faster. Light on your feet. We're going to go right to jump rope in five, four, three, two. Jump rope. Light on those toes. Up, 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 up. See if you can get that rope under two times. Woo. Yeah, there we go. Half done. Elbows in, name of the game today. Good, in five, we're gonna go into lateral high knees. We have four, three, two, and one. We're going side to side, get them up. Other way. As fast as you possibly can go. Knees up, knees up, knees up. Yeah, we're moving, half done, keep going. Keep those arms up. Yes, last 10. And in five, we're gonna do our final upper body exercise. We have four, three, two, and rest. Shake it all out, good job. Everybody grab a sip of water. Instagram, grab water. Zoom, grab water. I'm gonna grab water. All right. While we're taking this time to rest, our final one is called a concentric push-up. So there are two types of movements in exercise. There's eccentric and concentric. And so today we're really gonna focus on the bottom part of our push-up, the part where we drop down and then slowly push all the way back up. So this can look like two things. You can drop down, let your chest hover and then or touch the floor and then push up for three, two, one. Or you can drop down and not let your chest touch and same thing, press up for three, two, one. The first one's a little bit easier because you get a rest at the bottom. Regardless of whatever you're doing, I want you to drop fast, press up really slow, totally cool to do it on your knees. We're getting the muscles of the chest, nice big strong muscles we all want to develop. So first 30 seconds, I want anyone you can pick, okay? You can let your chest touch the floor. The second 30, we're going to hold at the bottom for three two, one, then push up, okay? So first set, you can either hover or drop, 30 seconds, go. We come down, push up, three, two, one, drop, three, two, one, that's the move. All right, half done. Good, making sure that the back stays flat. Nice, Kyle, nice, Quentin. Good. I can't see Diana, but I know she's doing it. We have five, four, three, and two. Come on up, give the arms a quick release, move it around. It's a lot of work for the chest. So this time, we're gonna come down to the bottom. We're gonna hold three, two, one, three, two, one, drop, three, two, one, push up, three, two, one, back stays flat, I'm going to be calling folks out if your hips start to dip, all that means is just stay underneath, it's fine, making sure we're working the muscles we want to be working and not swing out our lower back, come into the plank pose, second 30 seconds, drop, hold, three, two, one, push up, three, two, one, drop, three, two, one, push up, three, two, one. Keep on going, we're already half done. Woo, I'm seeing good form all around. Because I'm making my day. Awesome, Devin. Good, one more, we have five, four, three, two, and rest, shake it out. And let's, Switch out our bands, time for legs. Let me take over here if you have any announcements. Folks on Instagram, take this time to grab water, stretch it out, move around, and we're gonna swap out to our leg bands in a moment.
Maybe Steve's tired. He doesn't have any announcements. Yeah, no, he just wants to get the workout over with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, let's just let's just do this. All right. Uh, little instruction on putting on the leg band since we're all going into it together. Um, to start, if you can put them on standing so that the muscles are slightly engaged when you put them on, and then we're going to adjust seated. If standing up to put them on is just too difficult on the balance, that's totally fine. You can sit down. And we're going to hike our bands as high up into the leg creases as we possibly can. So strap them on and pull them all the way up. So we want to really hike it up in there and then slightly angle the outer edge where the tubing is up towards your outer hip. So we're at a slight angle. And if you're putting your bands on while standing up, now, I want you to come down to sit, so the muscles will release. And once you come down to sit, tighten those bands up even more. It's really hard to go too tight on the leg band. So I notice when I sit down, I can get a good half inch more adjustment in there. All right, good. So once your bands are hooked up, and just a note about cycles, as you're doing the cycles um, to keep things moving, I would suggest restarting your cycle uh, in between each exercise we do, uh, just so you don't have to think about it when we're doing the exercise, we'll just keep things running. And I'll try and remind everyone as well. So bands are on and we are gonna start with some active stretching today. So not only do our cast bands help with exercises they help with swimming they help with strength they also help us increase mobility and flexibility so we're going to challenge that a little bit today so everyone come down to sit and we're going to come into a wide legged v start your cycle here if you have not already done so now if you live in a tighter body or not so flexible take a little bend in your knees here that's totally fine for some of us this might be kind of frustrating um, because of lack of flexibility but that's exactly why we do it so Take one hand to opposite shoulder. These are called pancakes. And what we wanna do is with a flat spine, we wanna try and hinge forward and come back up. Hinge forward and come back up. Now you'll notice here, my spine starts to round out. I wanna keep it straight. So even if that's a micro movement, and if even sitting up straight is hard for you, think rounded spine, straight spine. Rounded spine, Straight spine. So we're gonna take 30 seconds of whatever pancake variation you can do. And each time you do one, see if you can get a little bit lower if you're going for that hinge, or see if you can get a little bit taller if you're going from rounded to straight spine. And wherever you are, those feet are flexed. So we're pulling our toes in towards our shin. And we're continuing to open up the hips as well as the adductors of the muscles of the inner thigh. And in five, we're gonna straighten out the spine and hold it. We have three, two. So either come up into straight spine or hinge forward, hold it. Keep lengthening the spine wherever you are, 10 second hold. We have six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, come on up, bending alternate knees, release. We're gonna do that again at the end of our workout just to see if we've gotten any additional range. So now we're gonna do a similar thing to actively open up the backs of our hamstrings. So everyone hop on up to stand. Hands come to opposite shoulder. Keeping that same straight spine, you can take a little bend in your knees if you have really tight hamstrings. Otherwise, keep the legs straight as well. We hinge forward at the hips, getting as low as we can, and we come back up. Now, often there's a tendency here to kind of droop into it and round out. You're not doing anything. Keep pulling your chest, your collarbones up, drop into it and rise back up. And we've got 30 seconds of these. And these are actually called good mornings because they're really beneficial to do at the beginning of each day to actively strings as well as your lower back. So if you wake up feeling kind of stiff in the mornings, do good mornings. <laughs> good. And then we're gonna hinge and hold working into it. We have five, four, three, do. Now hinge and hold it. Reach your arms back behind you. Keep pulling your shoulders down your back. Drop your belly button lower and lower for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Bend your knees. 
and slowly come back up to stand. Nice work, gang. Cool. Okay. So just like arms, we work legs, smallest muscles to biggest muscles. We have calf raises. First 30 seconds, we're doing doubles. Second 30 seconds, we're going to do singles. And so if you need a wall or something to hold on to, you can. Otherwise, hands to hips. Okay? So 30 seconds, just double calf raises. Up and down, up and down. And if you want more of a challenge here, you can reach your arms straight up, opening up the shoulders as you do it. And down, up and down. Getting the calf muscles used to working. Getting as high off those heels as you can. And in five, we're going to lift and hold. We have four, three, two, and one. Lift and hold. Little pulses down and up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Let's go right into the right leg. So my right leg is working. I pull my left thigh up. Hands to the hips or wherever your hands need to be for balance. You can also take them out to the sides like wings. I go up. Down, up, down, 30 seconds. And if you're super wobbly here, good. Play with it. That means your calf is really working, getting used to supporting the entire weight of your body on one calf. That's no small feat. We're half done. These are great. I see some wobbling and that's exactly what we want. That's how we build strength. We push our body to adapt to things it's not used to. In five, we're gonna lift and hold and we're probably all gonna fall down. Three, two, lift and hold it at the top. Just hold, six, five, four, three, two, rest. Good job, I see everyone kind of flailing, myself included. Let's go right into the left leg. Hands on hips or out like a T, whatever works best for you, up and down. There is no shame in doing both legs again or grabbing onto a ledge and a wall. But even if that range is really small on the lift, if you can try it on one foot, try it. Maybe you can get up a little bit higher each time. Awesome. I love it. I just see heads bobbing up and down. Last 10. Good. If you want more of a challenge, you're like single leg calf raises, no problem. Reach those arms up. In five, we're going to lift and hold. We have four, three, two. Lift that left heel up and hold it. Woo, six, five. Four, three, two, rest. Good job, guys. Heart rate boost. 30 seconds. Hop, scotch. Go. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. If you want to add arms to your hop, scotch, get them going. Yes. Good job. We are half done. Keep it moving. Let me see some arms. Why not? Work in every part of our body. The more we can engage our arms and our legs, the higher we can get our heart rate, the better cardiac shape we can get in. In five, we're going to jump row. Four, three, two, hop, jump, 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 jump. Light on those toes. We just worked the calves. Yes. Now jump rope the other way. <laughs> Good. See if you can get two jumps or two swings in each jump. Woo, we're flying. Left hand. Go, go, go. Good, five, four, three, two. Lateral high knees, up, 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 and switch. Last 30 seconds, get your heart rate moving. Get those knees all the way up towards your arms, yay. I like it, side to side. Light on the toes, if you're in an apartment or imagine you were in an apartment, we don't wanna be crashing down on the neighbors below us. Last 10, there we go. Knees up, five. Four, three, shake it out. Woo, okay. Lateral squat jump. So we're taking the hopscotch and we're gonna add a squat movement to it. So I come into my squat. You can do whatever you want with your hands. I go out, in, out, in. Now notice my hips barely move. So I'm not springing up, I stay low. If a jump is not in the cards today, step, step, step. My spine stays straight, none of this, no slouching, okay? First 30 seconds, we're going normal. Whatever you wanna do, second 30, if you want, you can try hands behind your head. 30 seconds, squat jumps, go. The lower you go, the harder it is. Play with it. 
Worst case scenario, you get tired. Awesome, Quentin. Kayleen, killing it. I see Jeff, I see George. Everyone who's not on video, keep doing what you're doing. Unless you're not doing anything, then please do something. Good, last five, four, three, two. Step those feet wide. Bend into the right knee, stretch it out. And switch, bend into the left knee. And come back up. So everyone who I could see doing these was firing on all cylinders, awesome job. So if you feel comfortable with it, I'm giving everyone the green light to try it with your hands behind your head. Now, again, once we do this, we're gonna start to wanna do this. So better your hands down, straight spine, than rounding out. So making sure that we keep the chest up if we're gonna do that. Second set, 30 seconds, go. Feels like some kind of dance. I like it, the couch dance. <laughs> We'll put together a whole sequence of all of our moves. Good, Bonnie. Yes, everyone, this is our last one we're doing of these. We only have two, so see if you can sink your butt even lower. Why not? 10 more seconds. Now we have the speed for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, good job. Let's take a quick pause, grab your water. Give us a shout in the chat if you have questions. See if you have any comments. Instagram, grab your water as well. Make sure to reset your cycle. <laughs> Nothing? You know that means we're gonna jump Whoa, right back into the work. Your favorite color. Okay. <laughs> Anything to take a pause. Uh, my favorite color is blue. Favorite color is blue because it's the color of the ocean and my eyes and my birthstone. What about you guys? Favorite colors, anyone? No? Okay. We're going to keep going then. So, <laughs> I right. was blue, but Heart I recently food. switched to green. How do you switch? <laughs> you decide one day? It took like, a lot you know of years. It took okay. a long time. Like, blue? I'm not having it anymore. Maybe in a couple of years, I'll switch it out. I'm like, mm. I think teal is a close second, but that's kind of a very close variation of blue. So I don't know if you can count that. Way to distract me. Let's keep going. Okay. Heart rate boost. Hopscotch, jump rope, lateral high knee. 30 seconds. Hopscotch. Go. In. Out. In. Out. Add those arms. Maybe go backwards. Why not? Yeah. Cool. Uh-huh, last 10. Woo! We just did lateral squats. So if you want to do your hopscotch with a low butt, go for it. In five, we're going to jump rope. Four, three, two. Jump rope, go. Yeah. High on those heels, maybe point those toes when you lift up. Good. John, I see your dog watching you. <laughs> And if you guys want to make it more exciting, do it one foot, other foot, get a little dance going. Last 10. In five, lateral high knees. We have four, three, two, and one. Hop, move, 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 move. Side to side. 30 seconds. Arms up. <laughs> Half done. Faster. Go, 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 go. High toes, high toes. Last 10 seconds. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody down onto your hands and knees. Circle the hips around to the left. Let's slow it down for a minute. Good. Take up a lot of space, really move through it. And then let's circle around to the right.
Awesome. And come back through center. We're perfectly primed for our next exercise, which are plank side hops. So we got a lot of heart rate boosting stuff today. So the full extension of this is hop back, up, back, side to side. Okay. Other alternative, up, up. So stepping as opposed to jumping, uh, slightly more modified on the knee. Up, up. So we have three options. Pick which one works for you today. We are going to do our 30 seconds, 20 seconds, then 10 seconds of this. So pick your pace accordingly, because we got three sets. Think moderate, fast, and all out, okay? Everybody make your way into plank. 30 second plank hop. Up, back, up, back. My shoulders stay rooted over my wrist the whole time. We're moving. And if you need to pause and plank for a second, pause, catch your breath, and keep going. Nice, Justin. Woo. You guys are flying. Awesome, Bonnie. All right. Good. Four, three, two, rest. Drop your knees. Walk your hands forward, take a shoulder stretch. Three big breaths here. Let the heart rate slow ever so slightly before we do 20 seconds. Can you hear my band pumping in the background? All right, walk your hands back towards your body. Come into plank. Second set, go. Up, back, up, back. Thighs are pumping. Keeping those arms stable. Use your core to help you out here. 10 more seconds. See if you can pick it up in preparation for our final set. We have five, four, three, two, rest. Roll the wrist out. Okay. Last 10 seconds. You know what's coming. I want to hear how many you've done. So what counts as one is one, two, three. So each side counts as one. 10 seconds, all out, counting your reps, ready, set, go. Mm-hmm. When you have three seconds left, I'm gonna let you know, keep counting. Woo! We have three, two, one, rest. Let me hear what you got. How many did we do in our all out sprint? I miss it. 24. Oh my god. 11. Goodness, you guys. 14. 14. 10 and a half. Four and a half? <laughs> 10 and a half. How does the half work? Oh, you got, yeah, I don't get it, but okay. <laughs> like you made it back to the center. I like it. You thought about the last one, but it didn't quite happen. Awesome. Whoever got 24, hats off to you. Good job. Okay, guys. One more standing exercise, then we come down to bridges and core. Right back up into our heart rate boosting movement. We do a quick lunge switch. So you lunge, tap, tap, lunge, tap, tap, lunge, tap, tap, lunge. Little, little switcheroo in the center. Alternative, lunge back, tap, tap, lunge back. Tap, tap, lunge back, tap, tap. tap lunge okay otherwise we step back into our reverse lunge we switch switch hop switch switch hop okay 30 seconds first is moderate second is fast ready come into your reverse lunge and go hop hop switch hop hop switch getting low really working those legs Woo! love it Nice, Kayleen. Last 10. See if you can speed it up. Step, step, hop. Step, step, hop. For five, four, three, two. Come on up to stand. Shake it out. All right. Second set. As we do, see if you want to play with your balance. Hands down the head or arms straight up. Same thing. We step it back. Hop, hop, switch. Hop, hop, switch. And second set. 
Go. Chest up, collarbones up, standing nice and tall and proud. Moving through it. Good job, Instagram. Half done, gang. Justin flying in the socks. <laughs> I like it. Woo! If you're doing arms up, keep pressing those elbows back. Last five, four, three. Nice John. Two and one. Rest. One good morning. Hands to opposite shoulders. Hinge forward. Release your hamstrings. Come back up. One more for good luck. Hinge forward. And come back up. Now let's make our way down onto our backs. We have bridges and core. So come on down to sit. Root your feet close to your bottom. When you come down onto your back, which we'll all do, I want your heels to be close enough to your butt that you can touch them. Otherwise, we're in a prime position to get a hamstring cramp. So once your feet are in proper position, imagine you're squeezing something between your knees, activate your inner thighs and then press on up into a bridge. And once you're up into bridge, you're gonna lift your right leg up, take it straight, 30 seconds, down, up, down, up. And if single leg isn't working, do it with both legs, pulse it, okay? Right leg up, 30 seconds, go for it. We're jumping right into it. And as you do this, I want you to keep pressing the ceiling away from you with the heel of your right foot. And then keep drawing your right leg in towards your body. Use your core to get it up even more. Awesome. Last 10. Good. Think hips up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. Keep that right leg straight. Yes. We have five, four, three, two, one. Right to the other side. Set your right foot down, left leg up, up, up. If you want more. Balancing on your shoulders, lift, lift. Pull that left leg in towards your body even more. 20 more seconds. Good, Chris. Woo. Bottom should be feeling it. Pulse, pulse. Nice, Kyle, keep going. Steve, I just see your legs flying. Last 10. Go, Bunny. We have five, four, three, two, and Rest, core work, 30 seconds, bicycles, side to side, and then 30 seconds, forearm plank, hip dip. So I'm in forearm plank, I go down, up, down, up, 30 seconds per side, all right? Before we jump into it, take a breath. All right, we've got a minute and a half of work. Then we get to do our pancake stretch again. Come on down to your back. Hands behind the head, lift the head, neck and shoulders off the mat, legs and tabletop, 30 seconds side to side. No one sets your speed except for you. So this can be a slow cycle or this can be a fast clip, depending on what your body needs right now. Regardless of your pace, see if you can find that contact between elbow and knee. So you're really working the muscles of the abs and the obliques, not just tossing your body around. Last 10. Nice. Everyone is doing it. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Roll over onto your side. Make your way onto one forearm. Doesn't matter which one because we're doing both sides. Checking to make sure elbow is underneath shoulder. We don't want to be pitched up. So you can either just press up and off your hips or coming into our full extension of forearm plank, drop up, drop up. If you need to drop a knee down to help, that's fine. Time is rolling. Down, up, down, up. Working the obliques. Pressing the floor away from you with the bottom arm. Shoulder is working as well. Down, up. Last 10. You can take your top hand into the floor for stability, or you can reach it up towards the ceiling. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Let's make our way onto the other side. Check the elbow. Totally fine to have a knee down to support you. Otherwise, full forearm plank, 30 seconds. Last piece of work we're doing today. Let's go. Down, up, down, up. Top hand can help stabilize or it can reach up. If you want even more, look up at your top hand as you're doing this. Down, 
up, down, and up. Awesome, last 10. Nice one, Kyle. Good. We have five, hips up, four, three, two, and one. Everyone make your way up to six. Come into the wide-legged stretch. Start with bent knees and just start to straighten the alternate legs. And if you're outside and this hurts your heels, you can just baby bend an alternate knee. Good. Now, if you can straighten your legs, if that's just too much, you can take the bend in your knees, hands to opposite shoulder. We're either going rounded spine to straight spine, or if you can sit with a straight spine, hinge, come back up, 30 seconds. Active stretching, hinge, and come back up. Don't let your shoulders drop. Keep pulling them back, leading with the belly button. And play with it. See if you can make the movement more meaningful, getting a little lower each time. In 10, we're gonna hinge and hold. This should feel pretty good, at least after we do it. Good. We have five, four, three, two. Hinge and hold. Wherever you are, hands behind your head. Keep pressing your elbows back behind you. Drop your belly button down. Even if you're in straight spine, elbows back, chest up. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back up, wiggle the legs around. Nice. Come on up to stand. Good morning. And we're going to continue to do good morning throughout our workouts because I would love it if everyone woke up and did like 10 of these every day. Your hamstrings would be so happy. I would be so happy. But just a suggestion, okay? Hands to opposite shoulders. Either little bend in the knees or legs straight. Hinge at the hip bones, straight spine, and come back up into it. Speed does not matter. What matters more is how low can you go. We go down and up. Awesome. I'm not seeing anyone rounding their back. I like it. In five, we're going to hinge and hold. We have four, three, two. Hinge and hold it. Reach your arms back behind you. Pull your shoulders down. Keep dropping your belly button lower for six, five, four, three, two. Let everything hang, ragdoll. Shake your head yes, uh-huh, we did a good job. Shake your head no, no more squat jumps. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, let yourself hang even deeper. One more time, big breath in and hold. Exhale, let it all go. As slowly as you can, roll up to stand. Take a little bend in the knees to relieve the low back. And then once you come up, bring your palms together. Give yourself a round of applause. Good job, everyone. I'll let Steve take it from here. Feel free to ask any questions, give any feedback, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow, hopefully. Steve is muted. Chris, can you hear me now? Yeah, we hear you, good. Ah, okay. Hello, Diane. Good to see you. And Kayleen, where's your sister? Uh, she, she's doing yard work, so. Oh. <laughs> with, with the bands on, I hope. She actually is using the bands, so yeah. <laughs> Kyle, great job today. All right, George from uh, Colorado, see you tomorrow. Thank you all. You have any questions, just ask. All right, take care. Bye. Great job, Chris. Bye. Thank you. Bye.